The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Our Lord and our God will say thank you again for this wonderful gathering of your children. And this moment you have set aside for us to learn at your feet. We pray, O oh God, that you will speak expressly unto us on the subject of submitting, I mean, uh, uh, loving one another, showing love to one another. Lord Jesus, please grant us understanding of your word and help us, Lord, that we will not just be hearers of these words alone, be doers of the same. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I've been quoting something important. First Corinthians chapter 13. I started reading last week and we're going to continue this week from verse 4. Now we have looked at it that as I said, charity means love. It says charity suffered long. In other words, charity is patient. Love is what? Patient. And uh, we also went further to say, it, and it's kind. We talked about kindness. That's what we concluded last week about kindness. Being kind to one another. And then today we want to look at the next one, which says, Charity envied not. Charity envied not. In other words, love does not envy. Love does not envy. I tried to check the word envy in the dictionary, and that word envy is never a good word. But sometimes we do use the word, I envy you. No, don't envy the person, because that word envy has never been a very good word to use. You can say to somebody, <coughs> excuse me, I love what you are putting on, or I like what you are putting on. That's great. Where did you get it from? Oh, I got it from this place, I got it from that place, that's good. Not I envy you. If you use that word, I envy you, that word envy means you hate someone. It means you hate someone who has something you desire but you don't have. You hate someone who has something you desire, but you don't have it. You understand? Now you're looking for a particular trainer to buy. You have not disclosed it to anybody. You have been trying to save up for it, the money is not even complete. Suddenly you just see somebody in your school or in your class, or somebody in the church, putting on that same trainer. And then you look at the person, and the person was just Maybe the person was now cleaning the trainers, and then you will look at them. No, what is it? No, what is it? And the person would now come to you and say, "Ah, my sister has everything. Fine. Ah, is there any problem? No problem." And then you walk away. You are envious because you have it. You desire it. How is it that this person that I don't even have money? How did she? Or how did he get that trainer of maybe 200 pounds or 300 pounds? You don't know. Maybe it's a gift to what? The person. You did not know. You did not want to ask. You don't want to appreciate what the person had or is having. You are what? You are envious. You are what? You are envious. So you hate that person. You are not showing love to that person. Just because that particular thing. And then, sometime again, you didn't discuss something with anybody. Now listen to me. You didn't tell anybody anything. You didn't say a word to anybody. You desire a particular uh, uh, heart. Hmm? A particular heart. You desire it. Suddenly, you see this person, you didn't tell anything, putting on that type of heart. Ah, you say, ah, ah, what is it? Is she the only one? Is he the only one? What happens? You do what? You hate that person. When the person is approaching you, you do what? You want to turn the person away. That's what envy. Love does not envy. 
Love appreciates. It doesn't envy. So if you are having love for one another, you must not be envious. Show love to your brother, to your sister, in the church, at home. We should not be envious. Because envy has to do with, and say it's not a good word at all. It has to do, the Bible says in the book of, um, in the book of um, Galatians, if you look at the Bible, the book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 21, envy was counted and is counted as the fruit of the flesh. That means it's part of a sinful act or sinful attitude or sinful nature. A simple thing for you to do what? To want to practice. is counted there in Galatians chapter 5, verse 21. If you read from verse 19 through to 21, you see envy was mentioned there. 1 Corinthians 18, verse 4 again. 1 Corinthians 18, verse 4. He said, Apart from charity suffering long, that means it's patient, is kind, charity is kind, love is kind, and love envieth not, it also said, charity vaunted not itself. What does that mean? It means charity does not boast. Love does not boast. If you love somebody, the love of Christ, the love we're talking about is the love of Jesus. The love of God that we're talking about. So, love does not boast. Vanta not himself. It does not boast. It does not talk about, in other words, boastfulness is talking about one's own accomplishment or abilities with too much pride. To be boastful means you talk more of your accomplishment, of your ability, with much of pride. You see, he cannot do it. I can do it. He cannot do it. You see, when they gave me that football, I was able to play it very well. I was able to count hundred. You can't do it. You understand? You see? Oh, you did not know. I was able to do this. Oh, you did not know. Can you do it? Can you stand with one leg? You cannot. You see, I was able to do it. <clears throat> Various things. Oh, you see this, this, uh, you see this, uh, this, this basket. Oh, I made it. You can't. Can you? You can't even. You can't even. You can't even mold a broom. You can't break a broom to a uh, stick. Bamboo. You know bamboo. There's a wood called bamboo. Bamboo. The wood. A tree called bamboo. They, that's where they get bamboo stick. That's where you get something called broom from. You can't even. I think they use part of it. They use it for basket also. I think the back. When you scrape the back, they cut very well. You can use it for basket. Forming basket. Wooden basket, not the plastic basket, the wooden one. So you can't do it. In other words, you are so few, you I mean you are full of yourself that anywhere you go, you want people to feel rejected. It's similar to pride, but we'll go to pride very soon. So when you boast or you talk about your accomplishment or your abilities with too much pride as the undertone that is boastful. It means you are boastful. Love does not boast. For example, in the Bible, if you look at your Bible in the book of Luke chapter 12, Luke chapter 12, I'm not going to read that. Because it's a long pass. I'm going to tell you the story. Luke chapter 12, from verse 13 to 21. Jesus Christ gave a parable of a man. 
Jesus Christ gave a parable of what? Of a man. This man was a rich man, a very wealthy man. Luke chapter 12. The man was a very wealthy man. Turn your Bible slow as I'm saying you'll be looking at it. Luke chapter 12. I'm not going to read it, but just open Luke chapter 12. Quickly. And just look, I'll be telling you the story. <clears throat> From verse 13 to 21. So this man, listen to me, this man accomplished a lot. Planted his field, the thing germinated, he had a lot of harvest. He made a lot of harvest. And he harvested, maybe he sent the servants to the field. He harvested a lot of things. And unfortunately, did not have room enough to do what? To put it. So he now said within himself, is there, look at the Bible. In verse. In verse 17 and 18, the man now look at it. I don't have any place to put all this state. I have a lot of other. What will I do? Because, okay, I'm going to break down the smaller one and build a very big one so that I can store all my crops, all my harvests into it. And look at verse 18. And he said, and, 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 and verse 19, verse 19, look at 12 verse 19. He said, and I will say to my soul, soul, that had much goose. Laid up for many years. Take thy ease, eat, drink, and be merry. And the Bible said, God told him that this night, this night, you are going to die. And then all those things you are gathered for yourself, I will see if you will be able to eat it again. Why did God say the man will die? Because the man was boastful. Now listen to me. Whatever strength, whatever ability, whatever skill you are, they are given to you by will, by God. The fact that somebody, the fact that somebody cannot walk or somebody doesn't have is not as skillful as you are, or somebody is not as intelligent as you are, does not mean. That person cannot accomplish anything again in life. As far as the man is concerned, is the best in his time. But God was trying to prove to him, you are not holding this good because you are so proud. Now listen to me. People that are boastful, listen to me. People that are boastful, they will not want to share their experience with you. They will not want to tell you the secret behind their success. They don't want to show you the way to achieve that. You understand? They don't want to make fun of you. They don't want to laugh at you. They don't want to belittle you. They don't want you to do what to bath to them. And if you go to them for help, they won't help you. This one was not going to help anybody. He said, I will say to my soul. He gathered everything. I will say to my soul, that soul, there's no need for you to work for the main part of your, of your, uh, your life again. Just relax. Eat and drink and be merry and God said the lie. Huh? I just spoke the one you don't understand now. Now lie. <laughs> God said that is not true. That your soul cannot be merry because this night you are going to die. Whatever you are, don't forget I said it's been to you for what? By God, He wants you to share it. Share that knowledge. Don't keep it to yourself. How is it that you were able to calculate this mathematics and you got this answer? <laughs> you want to know? Okay. You do it like this, do it like this, do it like this, do it like this. Then you get the answer 24. Ah, and then you walk away. I don't understand. That's your problem, it's not my problem. That's not good. Why is it? What did you do to your, your sword? I mean, you have a lot of adverse. What did you do to it? I work very hard. I mean, hard and hard working man. Very hard working man. And, but what did you do to your sword? I mean, you have, we are, my friend is behind you. What, what happened? Your one is not very well. 
Yeah. Because I'm a very hard working man. You are a lazy man. You don't, you don't work. You see, I work with my hands. I make sure I'm there day and they won't tell you how come that I applied something that made me to grow. I applied something or I took the right seed or I, they won't tell you because they want to work going everywhere. Tell everybody that can you see I'm a very hard or I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a very hard working man so nobody because they don't want anybody to be like them. They want to be seen up there. Now the Bible says, such things not good. Let's look at the book of James. James chapter 4. I'm going to read that one. Turn the Bible, turn the Bible. James chapter 4. I've talked a lot. James chapter 4. I'm going to read verse 13 to 16. James chapter 4. James chapter 4. 13 to 16. 13 to 16. I'm going to read it quickly and then we'll. We'll go to uh, uh, we'll read more, one more uh, passage. James chapter. James chapter four. I'm reading now, verse thirteen to sixteen. Just listening. Look at the Bible and listening. Go to now. Hear that say, today or tomorrow we we'll go into such a city and commit there a year and buy and sell and get grain. Whereas ye you know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeared for a little while, a little time, and then vanishes away. 15. For that day ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. 16. But now ye rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. If that man, this man we talked about in Luke chapter 12, if he has said, Oh, Lord, I thank you because you have given me so much harvest this year. I don't even have a place to put it, oh God. Lord, what will I do? Okay, I built a very big barn. I will store them. And I will continue to thank you and also share this with what? With the poor. God won't have taken his life. Learn to use biblical words. Now listen to me, that's why you are in the church. Learn to use what? Biblical words. By the grace of God tomorrow. I mean, just tell somebody. Ridwan, what are you up to tomorrow? Ah, tomorrow I'm going this place, I'm going that way. From there, then I will not come back. I will not do this. Then I will not do this, I will not do that. I will not do this, I will not do that. Do you know tomorrow? Do you know what is going to happen tomorrow? Whatever happened to you in the past, did you know it, it, it was going to happen? No. Let us learn Christian language. Let us learn biblical language. Tata, what are you going to do tomorrow? I don't know, but I know that by the grace of God, I will go to school. I know if it is the will of God for me, I will do what? I will see tomorrow. I know that by the grace of God, I will do what? I will do this. You understand? I know that by the grace of God, if God's willing, I will do this. God's willing, we'll meet next Sunday. By the grace of God, we'll meet on Saturday for our baptismal class. By the grace of God, by the grace of God, God's willing, God's willing, you are giving God what? The glory. Because you don't own tomorrow. God owns tomorrow. Are you listening to me? That's what God expected this man to do. And that's what God expects you to do. Love does not boast. Love is willing to share whatever accomplishments, whatever abilities, whatever achievements, love has. If you love indeed, you do what? You will share it. So that people will understand how to improve their lives either academically or financially. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Can you see what? Can you, so when you see people that are boasting, now listen to me. When you see somebody that is boasting, now listen, listen very well. When somebody that is boasting, all the boasting are there. I did this. I, I was able to do that. I, I was able to do that. I, I was able to do that. I, 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 I. Now listen to me. Go to that person and say, I, 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 I. Go to that person and say, excuse me. You say you did this. Please, can you show me how you did it? He's not going to tell you. 
Why? Because he wants you to be in dark so that he will continue to do what? He will continue to do what? To rise higher and higher than you. Watch it very well. Watch it very well. If you see somebody who is boasting about his or her accomplishment, I, I did this, I was the one that did this, I was the one that did this, I did this, I did this. Now, God, God, excuse me, my friend. And you say you did this, say yes. Please, can you please tell me? What would they say? For what? Eh, I should tell you how I did it so that you will not get there. No way. You go and find your own. Because they want to remember what? Boost. That they achieved it. Maybe, listen to me, maybe it was somebody else that showed them the way, but they have refused to show them the way. Somebody gave an analogy. He said in the past, he said in the past, people who have climbed the ladder, now listen, the ladder of success, the ladder of success, it's not the fiscal ladder, you understand? It's just a saying. People who have climbed the ladder of success to the top, they don't want you to do what? To climb it to the top. When they climb the ladder of success to the top, when they are at the top, when they see you coming, they push the ladder. So that you will not climb. But now, the 21st century people that have achieved something, they have now realized that if they push the ladder, what will happen? You will take the ladder again and do what? And put it and climb up. Because there's only one ladder. Listen. There's only one ladder to do what? To climb to that place, to meet that person. There's a special ladder. Will a particular ladder for that success, a particular ladder for that achievement, if you carry any other ladder and put it there, it will not work. You understand? So there's a particular ladder. So they know the ladder. When they put the ladder, the people will come and put it back and do and climb. Do you know what they do now? When they climb that ladder to the top, what do you think they will do? Yes, eh? No. They will draw the ladder. They will take the ladder up to themselves, put it in their shoulder and be going. You can't climb that ladder. Because it's only that ladder they are going to what? You need. So they don't want you to go. So they will tell you, eh, how did you do it? I might forget, don't worry. Don't worry. Go and look for that. Ah, look for that way. You can't take this way. Ah. They want to do what? They want to be the only one that will achieve that in life. No, the Bible does not expect you to do that. You share your knowledge. If you love, you do what? You share your knowledge with your brothers. Let me end up in Je Jeremiah. Open your Bible screen. Let me round up now. Jeremiah chapter 9. Jeremiah chapter 9. Jeremiah chapter 9. Quickly. Jeremiah is in the Old Testament. After Isaiah. With Jeremiah. After Isaiah, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 9. I'm going to read here verses 23 and 24. Listen. The Bible says there, Thus saith the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, and I let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, for let him that glory glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, seeth the Lord. God is saying, don't boast about your achievement. Don't boast because you are strong. Don't boast because you are rich. Don't boast because you have more than other people. But all you need to boast is what? I have accomplished all these things because God is with me. God helped me. And I can... Say to my chest that everything I've accomplished, I've not accomplished it outside God. God has helped me to accomplish all I have what? Accomplished. Put God in perspective. Give glory to who? To God. I know God. My brother, how is it that you are able to accomplish this? How is it that you are able to achieve this? How is it that you have that skill? You want me to tell you the secret? The secret is simple. I have God in my life. I have Jesus in my life. Jesus made the difference. Jesus helped me to achieve what I've achieved. You want to achieve like me? You said yes. Then give your heart to Jesus. When you give your heart to Jesus, Jesus is going to do what? He's going to help you to achieve just as I achieve. 
Put God in what? Perspective. Give him glory. Talk about him. Don't talk about yourself. You are so intelligent. How come? Thank God for Jesus. You are so rich, so wealthy. How come? Thank God for Jesus. You know where today? You know I'm wealthy today? God made me wealthy. God. 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 And you'll be blessed. In Jesus' name. Love does not boast. Love does not boast. Love does not end. Let us pray. Talk to God. I don't know what the Lord has dropped in your heart. Close your eyes now. I want to pray to God. The Lord God Almighty will help you. By spirit. If you have not been your life to Jesus Christ, you cannot love. If you have not been your life to Jesus, you can't show this love. No way. You want to be boastful. If you find yourself boastful, if you find yourself boasting, if you find yourself being envious, know that you don't have Jesus. Because if you have Jesus, you have this love we are talking about. The charity we are talking about, you will have it. But if you see yourself doing all these things, know that you don't have Jesus. Now you want to call upon the Lord. If you have not surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, I want to talk to God right now. Talk to the Lord Jesus. Close your eyes. We are praying now. Talk to Lord Jesus. We have mercy upon you. Talk to the Lord Jesus to have mercy upon you. Close your eyes now and pray. And if you are listening to me over the internet, and you have not surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, you better do that now. Because Jesus loves you. Surrender to Him. And He will teach you through His Spirit how to show love. The love we are discussing about. All you are acting on, envious, boastful, not being patient, and all, all we will be counting and we have counted. If you have Jesus, you won't do all those things. You will do the right thing. Pray that the Lord will have mercy upon you. The Lord will forgive you your sins. The Lord will cleanse from your righteousness from you. You have been boastful in the past, thinking what you have achieved. It's been achieved by your own strength. I worked so hard for my money. I worked so hard uh, to train my children. Because they are now in high places. I worked so hard. It is my own. No, it's not. God gave you that strength. And if you are not careful, God is going to take that away from you. Thank you, Jesus. For as many who have confessed you as their Lord. Help them to live as your children and to do things that will glorify your name. Thank you for your word that's come to us here this moment. The moment of truth. We have heard the truth in your word. Help us to go and do likewise. Help us to always give you glory in whatever we do. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.